For those of you who don't know me, um, my name is Julia and I'm a natural figure and bikini competitor and I'm going to be tracking my prep for my 2017 competitions and sharing my progress with you and my thoughts about different things to do with prep. So every week I'm going to share my progress pictures and I'm going to talk about a different topic relevant to female natural bodybuilding. If you look in the comments section below the video, you will see some links to different interviews and um, lists of my competition history. So if you want to learn a little bit about who I am or what I've done in the past, have a read there rather than me go on about it here. I'd rather just crack on with the first video. So up next is a picture of my start point. And each week I'm going to video a set of quarter turns so that you can see um, how I'm actually looking in my poses and I'm actually going to use this to track my posing practice see what I really need to work on when I'm practicing that so that's coming now So as you can see, that's my start point. I'm actually 11 weeks out from my first competition. So my off season, I don't go crazy and I'll explain all about that in upcoming videos. Um, but I do go off season enough so that I can still make some good gains, but I don't like to go too far off season so that my dieting isn't too hard when I come back to getting ready for my next competition. So 11 weeks out. I'm not going to say what my first competition is yet because I've got a few that I'm lining up and just getting all the dates and travel plans fixed so once that's all sorted I'll um, comment on my next videos which ones I'm actually doing but they're all natural federations and they're with the pro organisations that I'm with. So my first topic that I want to talk about is why do you compete and the mindset for prep are two really important things that I need, think you need to consider if you are thinking about competing or if you already do compete but you find the process quite difficult. The first question people will ask is why do you compete? For me personally, I do it because I like having a goal to train for. I had to give up my sport because I was diagnosed with a heart condition which was triggered after I broke my back. Um, so feeling very lost, losing my identity as an athlete, I needed a new goal to focus on and bodybuilding was, was that thing. So I love the fact that every time I compete I can look at my pictures, videos, find new goals, find new competitions, try and improve and come back and be my best me. My only competition is myself. I never look at my progress based on placings because you can win one competition and the week later you might not even get a call out and that doesn't mean that you're any worse it just means you're in a different lineup with different judges different criteria there may be better athletes than you on the day you can't you can't have your whole bodybuilding career defined just by your placings if you do you're going to be disappointed more than you are ever happy um, so Yes, winning competitions is lovely, being a pro is great, but there has to be more to it than just trophy hunting. So the main goal has to be personal progression, you have to really enjoy the, the bodybuilding lifestyle, um, otherwise it's going to be really hard to stay on track during those tough times. So yeah. If you are in it because it's a personal goal, something you want to achieve, something on your bucket list that you just want to do once or something you want to have a long career in, your, your personal goals must be your main focus, your personal improvement. And the mindset. When I first started competing, I 
was told it was going to be miserable, that I was going to be deprived, I had to give up all these things, that I would have no social life, that it was just going to be miserable. And that really didn't appeal to me. And if it was like that, I wouldn't do it. Now, I'm not saying this is easy, because that would not be telling the truth, and it's definitely not for everybody. However, I do think a lot of it is in your mind. So, if you tell yourself something's going to be totally miserable and you're going to feel deprived, you probably will feel like that. But actually, if you look at it that the lifestyle is incredibly healthy, you're going to have the best body you've ever had at the end of it, you're doing so much good for your long-term health and your fitness, for me that's all positive. Um, yes, you might feel a bit hungry, you might not be able to have your favourite foods all the time, but when you do have them, they taste so much better because you're not eating them all the time and not taking them for granted. So, the other side of it, the people around you didn't sign up for this competition, you did. So, you can't inflict what you want to do on everybody else, it's not their journey. The first prep I did, I think it was a week out to my first comp, my husband walked in with a massive Domino's pizza. And I sat there grumpy, in a mood, because he was eating it in front of me. And he turned around and said, you chose to do this, this is your hobby, it's not mine. So if I want to eat a pizza, I'll eat a pizza. And from that moment on, I never moaned about it again. He can sit and eat anything he wants, and so can all my friends and family. It doesn't bother me, because it's not their journey, and if they want to eat healthy, they can eat healthy. And if they want to go out and I can't go out, that's fine. But it, I'm not going to sit there and be grumpy about it, because that's their choice and this is my choice. So it's just to make a point that you can enter into this with whatever attitude you want. So enter into it thinking it's going to be fun, and yes, it might be hard, but you don't have to moan your way through it. it there's no prizes for who's the most deprived. And to be honest, if you're feeling that deprived on a figure or bikini prep, you really want to take a look at what you're doing. Is there something in your diet or your training plan that is making you feel like that? And if there is, I think you should question it. And I'm definitely not saying this is easy, and obviously some people are going to find the process harder because their start point and the amount of time they have available. But I honestly don't think you should spend the whole 12, 16 weeks feeling miserable. Just choose to enjoy it, and if you go out with that positive attitude, you're more likely to enjoy the process than if you tell yourself it's going to be miserable. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, so I don't moan every five minutes on social media about how miserable my prep is and to be honest if I did how is that inspiring other people to start eating healthy and go and exercise if you're constantly telling people how awful it is because it's not that awful yeah you might not be able to have your favorite chocolate bar every day oh my gosh you know just put things in perspective all we're doing when we're competing is eating healthily and exercising. Yes, a bit more, more so, more extreme than if you would just want to look good on the beach maybe, or just want to be a bit healthier. But we're not saving the world doing this. Like, it's your hobby and your personal goal. So I don't think the whole world needs to hear you bitching about it. So, okay, that's, that's all I'm gonna say on that. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's one other point I really want to make. When I'm talking about different aspects of prep, I'm only talking about women's natural bikini and figure, because that's what I compete in and that's what I have experience in. I'm not talking about other parts of bodybuilding. I'm not talking about men's bodybuilding, assisted bodybuilding, and any women's categories above the sort of tone train figure category so do bear that in mind when you're listening to things I say because you might think well I don't agree with that but that might be because what you've read or what your experience is is different 
to the type of bodybuilding I do. So please bear that in mind when you um, listen to my comments. Also, I'm going to be talking about different topics every week. So if there's something you're really interested in, something a question you've always wanted to ask someone and never had the chance to, just put your questions in the comments um, and I will try and address different questions each week. So, so please, if there's something you're really interested in, just any, anything to do with bodybuilding prep, just pop the question there and I'll see if I can help. Um, I'm going to talk about everything from training, diet, I'm a vegan bodybuilder so I'm going to touch on that as well. But I'm not going to be talking vegan throughout the whole thing. So even if you're not vegan, um, you will still maybe be interested in other parts of this. Um, I'll talk about peak week, different things to do with posing, different federations, um, and anything else anyone sort of suggests that they want me to talk about. So I'm quite open to doing different things each week. So please don't be shy, subscribe, and leave your comments, and I'll see what I can do. I just want to show you, I'm wearing my MPA hoodie. This is my favourite fed in the UK. They are the only fed that are lifetime natural. Um, and they have several competitions all across the UK. So I do support them. And I'm going to leave you with um, some clips from this week's training. Um, but in future episodes, I will talk a bit more about the type of training I do while I'm prepping. So I hope you enjoyed this, if you've got any comments, if you agree, disagree, pop them in the comments below, feel free to talk, and uh, please subscribe, it costs nothing, and um, yeah, hopefully see you next week, I'm going to post every week, so um, it'll probably be midweek, this one's a bit late, um, sorry about the sound quality, I'm getting a new microphone, so hopefully for next week it'll be a little bit clearer, so have a good week, and I'll talk to you next week, bye!